Hey, what's going on guys? H9's nice White Dragon here. So we're going to be casting a game between Alex Medina over here in the blue at 1470 versus Chris Barrientes in the red at 1350. So uh, Alex summoned uh, a Tengu and ended his turn. And uh, Chris tried to summon Swap Frog, but I think that was a good move because sometimes, um, you know, if you're playing Frog Monarchs or Lancer Monarchs, which is uh, what I think Chris is uh, playing here, uh, they really have a hard time you know, dealing with uh, monsters if they don't have Treeborn um, in the grave, obviously. It's kind of like when you're playing against an agent player and they summon uh, Earth, and if you Veiler that or you Warning that, sometimes they just can't get the uh, cards out and then they end up losing because they have dead cards in their hand. But, uh, okay, so Econ. Pretty interesting uh, thing to set. Ooh, Soul Exchange. Okay, so that was pretty good. Um, he will not be able to attack this turn, though. That is the downside to Soul Exchange. And I'm thinking the set card could be an enemy controller as well, because uh, Frog Monarchs, which is what I think he's running, uh, don't really set anything. Same with Lancer Monarchs. There's really no setting in the deck, uh, just because you want to you know, have your Treeborns floating. Okay, so uh, he's going to hope that... Uh, Maybe Chris doesn't attack. Oh, he's setting Monster Reborn, okay. So... I mean, obviously you can't use Reborn in that situation, so... In that case, uh, you know, Reborn might have been an okay thing to set realistically in, like, high-level play, because uh, obviously if he only set Enemy Controller and he got that Enemy Controller mst uh, he would be in a bad position. And so I think that, you know, it was okay, because it was a card that he really really couldn't use anyways. Um, and now Thunder King can try to run over um, Mandy's Fiend, but, uh, oh, Creature Salt, that's pretty good too. But this is the thing, if I was in Alex's position, I don't think I would have set the, uh, the cards, because the back row is probably going to be enemy controller. I mean, that's just kind of how, uh, you know, Frog Monarchs play. Um, he needs to summon something. Okay, good, so Tour Guide. And so, I'm thinking it's, I mean, it could be a Treacherous Trap Hole, which some do run, but, um, yeah, it's really, realistically, I mean, if he had Dark Oil in his hand, then uh, I think he would have activated earlier. Um, I don't know, because I don't think setting Reborn was too good, <laughs> really. So he cannot get his uh, Treeborn Frog back, because, um... Oh, was it? Angel? Okay. So he's gonna tribute. He needs to. Or just move it to defense? I don't. Under, he's gonna sound something to move it to defense? Oh, he's gonna max C. Okay. He's tributing his thing. Oh, okay. He's gonna. Top deck. For the top deck. Which is good. Because now he knows what he's going to draw next turn. And if Chris can draw into a Caius, he can really seal the deal on the game. Um, so obviously, yeah, that's going to be Sangan set. And, uh, if, ooh, Maxi again. Okay. <laughs> he's saying chain to the effect of Treeborn. Um, Chris still has the option, you know. I mean, he hasn't said he's going to Treeborn. But uh, yeah, tr you have to like declare your activating Treeborn, I believe, because I know your opponent can chain Crow to it. Um. Okay. So yeah, it is true, he didn't say he was going to activate Frog, but... But realistically, he probably would have if he didn't drop the maxi. Um, sack for Thestalus, no. <laughs> That'd be pretty hilarious. But, um... So he's checking his graveyard. I mean... Alex's deck looks pretty generic. I haven't seen anything too special. Um, I mean, a lot of decks can run Tengu. They run, you know, Thunder King, because Thunder King stops a lot. But Thunder King's not so great against Monarchs. And I'm thinking he'll make... A, uh, ooh, really? 
I didn't expect that. Uh, just because, you know, obviously against Monarchs, they have so many options for that. Um, I thought I was thinking maybe go for number 25 just to attack over it. Because realistically, if he's going to draw into a Monarch, he's going to win anyways. You know what I mean? You might as well um, attack. Um, you know. I think it's better. Plus, like, why go for Zen Mains? I mean, yeah, Zen Mains is good for defense, but you're just going to let the Monarch player draw into, like, enemy controller and just attack over you. So they're arguing over Maxi's effect. Um, and so I think that, like, he should just get to draw one anyways. Um... I guess he's going to activate another Maxi. I believe he dropped a Maxi that turn. Oh, oh he's, he's drawing for the turn, I guess. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. Why didn't he just go for number 25 if he's going to go for an attack? It just realistically doesn't make sense at all. Um... So I believe our, our player Chris over here in the red is making every move pretty good. I haven't really saw a misplay um, by him. But I do feel like Alex has made some moves that weren't most optimal. Um, he can go for Ryza? Oh, he's going for his opponent's graveyard. Um, oh no, okay. He's going to chain Crow or... Okay, so, <laughs> please play good. I think our, our player Chris is kind of playing better. Sorry, Alex. But, um, I mean, I mean, if you're going to chain Max C, you just chain it. Um. <laughs> he's like, okay. I'm not sure what he's going to... I mean, if he's going to Max C, you might as well Max C it. I mean, Monarchs don't special summon more than once per turn pretty much anyways. Um, so I, I guess he can attack, oh, okay. Go for eight. Stardust, okay, that, that's, a, that's an okay option. But... I believe that's a misplay, and if you guys want to know why, um, he should have synchroed into, into Formula Synchron first. Uh, I mean, maybe he was afraid of a Max C, but obviously Starvis can negate, so <laughs> um, there was, it was kind of pointless for Alex to uh, target it, and because it still comes back, because it's still the end phase, and Starvis is not like DD Survivor. But yeah, I really think that he really should have uh, went for Formula Synchron. But I believe that he was afraid of a Max C, and uh, Max C wouldn't make it, so he would draw one. But you know, Chris would draw a card anyways, so he's gonna go for an Orient Dragon right here, and uh, hope he can remove Stardust, which I was correct about. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty much what he was gonna go for. So I believe Alex is playing Plants over here. Um, so if he has Valor. Oh, does not have Valor. Ooh, he's going to drop Black Luster 2. Oh, he kind of sacked him right there. Uh, really hard. Um, but, you know, uh, the thing is, uh, Alex should attack with Orient first. Ooh, big mistake because... <laughs> exactly, Battle Fader! Oh, I'm going to be so stoked if he can pull this off. Um, he needs an enemy controller right now. Um, really to uh, make a game. Uh because obviously Black Luster can attack over both, and he would survive one more turn, but... Yeah. Let's see what he goes for. Oh, Tributing 2 for Light and Darkness Dragon. Huh. Not a bad option. Get some damage in here.
And so uh, Lad will die. And then he will bring back a card. Um, I thinking like Ryza or... Target swap. Oh, he's going to target swap frog. Okay. And then swap frog's effect activates. So he can deck then again. Or if he has like Rodin Totem, he might be able to do something better here. Because obviously a Black Luster is going to attack again. So this game is pretty, uh, pretty uh, good so far. I mean, both players got to actually play. It wasn't like wind-ups. But I feel like Chris did make one mistake, and that was not going for formula. Because, okay, so he's going Ruin Totem. But yeah, he should have went for Formula Synchron to draw an extra card. It would have been, uh, you know, plus one card. Because after he, he could still go for um, a Stardust if he really wanted to. He's setting everything. I'm going to go Treeborn. I was going to... Big frog, and then uh, if he has enemy controller, oh, sacking for a monarch, and he can still play for warning. And I believe Alex is playing plants here. Uh, turn to tribute, okay. So both players at same life right here. So that back row probably isn't anything good. Um, if it was warning, he would have activated it and then just sealed the deal on the game. Uh, he can remove one, one which would, uh, which would probably be smart to do. Um, just as extra defense. Oh, very good. So uh, our monarch player still is in the game. And uh, a big mistake that uh, Alex made was he attacked with uh, Black Luster Soldier first, if you guys remember right. Um, and uh, the reason why is because if he attacked with Orient first and he dropped Gores, you know, obviously he could attack over both. Uh, the tokens. Um, also, if he happened to, uh, you know, drop the battle fader on Orient Dragon, Black Luster Soldier could main phase two activate effect. And uh, you know, this is all about learning, and that's why I'm doing these uh, commentaries here. Milling multiple failures is not very good, but milling trap shoot at this point is okay. And there's no point to killing Treeborn unless he had like a max C. Um, ooh, Treeborn in attack mode, so it looks like he's going to be going for a creature swap. And so he will be able to do some damage. And looks like Alex is going to leave. Um, although he could have survived one more turn. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. If there's any other plays that you guys saw that were kind of questionable, let me know in the comment section below because this is all about getting the community together and learning how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and learning about misplays. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Asian White Dragon, signing out.